and lift the fill. Hello, everybody. We are on board the Sectarian. This is the bridge or cockpit, whatever you'd like to call it. It's got seating for three people, one pilot seat, a couple passenger seat, and we've got button panels all over the place that handle different things. As you can see, they're doing lights, they're doing Gatling guns, they're doing doors, they're even doing the gravity of the ship and the gravity drive. Just outside of this cockpit, we got a little passageway that takes us down. We're going to see an ore detector. We're going to see our gravity generator. Ah, that's what it's called, the gravity generator. We've also got our medical room or respawn room. Just outside of this passageway, we've got our stairway going to the back of the ship. Inside of this little passage corridor, we've got batteries. We've got nu nuclear, nuclear reactors. We've got our gravity drive, which is the like bread and butter of this ship. There's cargo containers, and there's programming blocks. Yes, and you can actually write code. There's some code in it already. Just outside, we have our merge block. We've got connectors. Everything's conveyored up. Everything links together. On the bottom side, we've got more connectors, more conveyors, more merge blocks. We've got heavy armor all over this ship. We've got Gatling guns, and we have rocket launchers. Six of them in total. This is the cockpit from the outside. It is freaking gorgeous. We've got landing gear to pick up any cargo ships that we pick up. We've got a camera at the front so we can see. We've got lighting, all that jazz. Gonna take over remote control of this ship. That's right, you can fly it without being inside of it as long as your Tana's working and the remote control block's still intact, right? So, as you can tell, it spins awesome. The gyroscopes in it lets you control and maneuver real easy. Without the gravity drive, you would not be flying this thing fast, but it makes up for it in the long run. And hey, look at these thrusters. There's huge thrusters on both sides. On the top of the ship, there's that little decoy block that was hidden underneath the catwalk. That'll keep all the fire from coming into the cockpit, keep you alive. Let's go see if we can find some stuff to kill. Right, we're going to start headed towards that military mine layer. I'm going to turn off our main gravity generator, flip on our gravity drive, kick our thrusters up a little bit to get our speed going. And that was so fast, I don't even know if you guys counted how long that was. We're already at max speed. That's like over 200 miles an hour in like under 10 seconds or something. It's quick. We're going to try doing some side strafes on this thing. It's got rockets, and the rockets are really, really damaging to your backside with this. So take out those large thrusters like they're nothing, or the side large thrusters too. So we're going to try to keep at about, you know, over 400 range, because I think that's about how long it takes for them, or like the range of the missiles. So and if you notice this thing, with all these thrusters going, as long as you're not like pushing the top and the bottom, you're doing pretty good. We'll be able to stop, slow down, flip back around. We can use this gravity drive and just keep pushing, doing these strafes on this, on this mine layer right now. And it looks like there's probably a good three guns up there, but I think we're doing pretty good. Looks like everything's intact for the most part, so. And I haven't crashed it into anything. That's, that's one of the big things with the ship is I tend to crash it into things all the time. We're going to go in for another strafe, so something you want to look at really quick is the uh, toolbar, menu bar thing that we have. And I just turned it off, and I don't know what buttons I'm pushing! Ah! <laughs> it looks like we just lost a gun turret in there. Ah, okay. And that ship just... The antenna went off? The power's out? Oh, okay. So basically we've got control for your rockets, we've got the ability to turn off all Gatling guns, we've got your camera zoom in, we've got the uh, gravity drive. Should probably be doing this in order. Let's continue on with that. And we're getting shot. There's two turrets still active. And let's circle around maybe one more time just lost our camera too this thing's working us 
So next we've got the camera that if it worked we could go to. We've got the gravity generator for the inside. We've got auto lock features for the landing gear so it's easier to take things out. And we also have our rocket control. So number seven and number eight will switch between powering on and off the starboard and port rocket launcher cells. And then, you know, you can close the door really quick with number nine just in case somebody's coming at you. Now, let's see if we can go ahead and dock with this ship. Or at least, you know, jam our landing gears into it and try to take it over. So this is probably one of the hardest things with the ship. It's doesn't have tons of stopping power if you're not like you know flipping around and going from the sides the forward thrusters there's what maybe one two three four five six of them or so and when we're pushing it with the the gravity drive to match speeds and you know get the targeting and all that uh, it can be really dangerous so ah, you guys will probably like a crash so oh, I'm, I might give you that <laughs> Okay, and try to get this in just perfect. I love all the special effects that they added into this game. That lightning from the antenna, you know, the smoking gun turret itself. So one of the other features we added into this one in one of the last upgrades or last changes was the ability to uh, use the SIR report. So it'll basically tell us everything that's broken. We've got a few broken blocks and one block that's completely missing. We don't care about the offline because most of that's our own stuff. So the uh, when it hits the functioning report, we'll be able to see all the damage that we have on our ship. The uh, the HUD view will turn on for all the pieces, so we can see that our Gatling turret's down. That shows us which one. We don't have to remember which one the dorsal port is. You know, it's really the top left. Come on, I, I name that stuff because I'm trying to learn how to do that kind of stuff. So. You know, after you get beat up from a ship, you can just go over, start looting that thing up, and, you know, fix your own ship. Okay, we fixed everything up. And, you know, we're going to go take out another ship, just to show you guys how fun this is. So this is just going to be a private sail, and we're almost on top of it. Right in front of this thing. It should only have, like, a couple interior turrets or something, so we're going to see how long it takes to take this thing out. Like we already took out uh, some of the solar panels on that thing. And our automatic guns are doing great. But uh, they did good enough. They took out the turrets. That's what we were looking for. So slide in on this thing. And we're going to grab this one. And we're gonna, actually, we're going to haul this one since it's light. I know this one's going to work. Probably should have tried it with the... Uh, military one, but uh, it's all good. So, like I said before, docking is the hardest part with these guys. Or at least, like, latching on with the, the landing gears. Um, it's... I, I've damaged so much of the front of these ships just, like, trying to hook into them. Um, a couple times, you know, removing the cockpit and whatnot, so... But it's probably because I was driving a little bit too fast, right? Is it called driving when you're, you're flying a spaceship, or are you piloting it? I, I think they still do piloting, so... Now, almost hooked into the sky. And... Uh, we're off, so let's just turn around and smack this thing and see if we can lock on. So, the thrusters, you can kick back, and look how quick we're stopping. Even with, like, an attachment of, I don't know, it's probably a couple hundred thousand kilograms of weight you know and with that we're gonna speed this thing off with tow watch how fast it goes hope you guys enjoyed we'll see you next time